起来启动节拍，从放肆拉扯情绪飘带。掉那糟糕的长裙摆，总会有最好的安排，别刻意胡来。谁总在微笑的热带，在造乌云的作怪？好在站稳脚踝不算太坏。谁总在悲伤的寒带，装填阳光的青睐？难怪冰山难掩嘴角盛开。最好的安排，外拒绝期待更好的未来。Baby tell me why 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 有我在。最好的安排，外拒绝期待更好的未来。Baby tell me why 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 有我在。Hi, Ching. You got mail. Oh, thanks. Welcome. This is an invite to participate in the exhibit. <laughs> Luo Luo, huh? I'll check her room. Luo Luo. Where is her suitcase? <sighs> Surprise! You didn't expect this, did you? Actually, I changed my ticket a while ago. I'm already at the airport. Don't worry. I promise I'm going to study hard and take very good care of myself. If you want, you can always come and visit. For things like farewell parties and all that, I'd really rather not do them. You know, I don't like getting sentimental before I say goodbye. to make you angry again. Do you think you can get used to that? You and Feng should look after each other. Why'd you leave? We didn't get to say goodbye. I can do whatever I want. Song Ling and I are headed there now. No, don't bother. I'm going to check in soon. You won't make it here in time. How could you leave like this? Did you bring your passport, cash, and other documents? 
Yes, I have them all. Shanti reminded me more than enough times. I'll be coming back now and then, so don't sound so sad. If you're short on money, don't hesitate to call me. And call my friends if anything happens. They'll help you out. I got it. Stop nagging me. As for you, be good to Feng. Don't fight with her. I'm checking in now. I gotta go. Bye. Bye-bye now. Joe, judging from how you look, you must be doing pretty well. Miss Chin, you're flattering me way more than I deserve. I heard that your work's been selected for the exhibit. <sighs> it's just some unknown exhibit. Well, stop being so modest. You've put your heart into your work, and it was chosen. It's a first major step for you. I hope you don't waste your potential and talent. Hmm. I found out that it actually makes me very happy when people recognize my work. It motivates me. Hey. How are things with Lin Yun? Did he change his mind? Not yet. But I'm going to keep trying. If you succeed, Song Ling will be grateful. Let's change the subject. How are you and Four Eyes enjoying your new life together? Huh? Four Eyes. <laughs> <laughs> He's asking me to dinner. Just go. He knows you don't like cooking and doing other mundane chores, so he's asking you out. Maybe he's trying to play some kind of trick on me. Just go and find out. Okay, I'll be there, honey. See you soon, Mama. Oh, brother. <laughs> We're supposed to be on a date, so why did you ask your colleagues to come? Most of the people coming were my classmates back in university. They wanted to meet you. If I'd told you in advance, you wouldn't have showed up. Regardless, you still should have told me. I could have styled my hair, put a little bit of makeup on, and Look, changed honey, my clothes. You're already very pretty. You're dazzlingly gorgeous, even without makeup. <laughs> well, I guess that's true. <laughs> let's go. All right, drink up. Come on, let's drink. Oh, thank you so much. Hey, Hi. it's Wah. Hey. You're here! Oh, good to see you. Hey. But introduce us first. <laughs> Let me introduce you to the woman you've been wanting to meet, my girlfriend, Chin Ching. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm so sorry I came along. No, no, we're all very happy that you came. Now, come on, sit down. Sit down, yeah, join us, please. Have a seat. Here, Cheng, eat up. Here. Thank you. Honey, I've got to take this. Mm. Uh, Cheng, let me introduce myself. I'm Faye. This is my girlfriend, Danda. Hello. Hello. Guys, introduce yourselves. Hey, Mom. What's up? Dinner's ready. It's gonna get cold if we don't eat soon. What time will you be back? I'm not coming back to eat tonight. I'm eating with my colleagues. Hey! Tsong! Oh. What are you doing? Don't leave your girlfriend alone. Oh. Okay, okay. I'm coming. Hurry up! Hey! Lin Lin! Yes, Mom? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Uh, hey, just now I heard your colleagues say that you're with your girlfriend. No, I'm not, Mom. You heard it all wrong. I could not have gotten it wrong. I clearly heard what he said. Oh, since when have you learned to lie to your mother? Come on, Mom, don't be angry. <sighs> Isn't it a good thing for you to be dating? Why are you hiding her from me? Listen, I'm not hiding her from you, Mom. I'm just, you know waiting for the right time to bring her home to meet you. Well, there's no time like the present, right? 
Oh, all right, I need to go. All right, later. Uh, don't forget to send me her picture. I want to see what your girlfriend looks like, okay? Uh, fine. Oh, hang on. I also want another photo of her with you, okay? Uh, yeah, okay. I've actually eaten here before. We're here often after work. Really? Very often. <laughs> Guys, since the gang is all here today, how about a group photo? Sounds good. Yeah. Use a filter. Let's do that. <laughs> Send it to us later. <laughs> oh, come on. Seriously? Okay. <laughs> Three, two, one. Okay. Well? I want a copy. Let's make a WeChat group. Yeah, okay. You look great in this picture. You look great in this picture. <laughs> Let's drink. Bottoms come on, up. drink come up. On. Come on, raise your glasses. Right, hurry up. You guys are drinking too fast. Really? <laughs> no, you're Cheers. just too slow. Cheers. Come on. Come on. Bottoms up. Drink up. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Okay, now you That's can good. eat. That's <laughs> good. Eat up, honey. Had it not been for Tso, we wouldn't be together like this. You're uh, right. <laughs> Let's hang out more. Uh, honey, it's work. Sorry. Sorry, excuse me. It's work. I had to take it. Wait, what? Huh? Another phone call? He's getting calls from oh, work at this time. He's a busy man. Oh. Well, let's just... Hi, Mom. I have the photo. I'll send it to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. He gets calls <laughs> even after work. Well, let's just <laughs> eat. Yeah, let's do that. I'll be right back, guys. Okay. okay. Let's drink. There's still right. more. <laughs> I'm so clever. Hey! What? What are you doing? Mm, nothing, really. Who's that calling you every time? My mom. She wanted me to come home. I said we're eating out. Okay, come on. Let's join <laughs> the others. You're here. Hmm. I came by to check on you. You only got me rice? Of course not. Just wait. Okay? Here. I wonder what Lolo is doing. Well, she should be in class at the moment. Hmm. You think she's skipping? I don't think so. T's there, she wouldn't dare. What if T's in on it too? He answers to me, so he wouldn't dare. No. <sighs> Do you want to call Lolo? Lolo is not a kid anymore, she's grown up. She knows what she's doing with her life. If you continue to call her constantly, she's going to miss you and make it harder for her to adjust. You make it sound like I'm important. To her you are. She loves you. Really? Mm-hmm. Hey. What? Lolo has left the nest. Dee's gone as well. It's just us now. Maybe we should live together. Mm hmm? Move here tomorrow. I'll help you with your stuff. But I haven't said yes. So it's decided. No, you can't do that. And why is that? Because I haven't agreed. Well, I don't have a problem with it, so why should you? You can't decide this on your own. I haven't agreed. You can have the rice. It's all yours. <sighs> I ate too much. I wanted to lose a little weight, yet I stuffed my face. <sighs> Four eyes? Mm-hmm. Are you hiding something? I'm not. Well, that's good. Mm -hmm. I'll go inside then. Mm. Mm.
What are you eating? Mm -hmm. Just some instant hot pot. Ah. So what's your answer? Answer to what? Moving in. You said you would think about it. Come on. I just gave you my answer an hour ago. Yes, it's already been an hour. That's 60 minutes. 3,600 seconds. I don't have any time to spare. I still have a lot of things I need to organize for the experience store. <sighs> All right. Carry on. Are you just going to sit there? Oh, don't worry about me. I can't focus with you sitting there. Come on, Zhou Fang. I don't want to go home and be alone. Well, then in that case, you can go for a jog downstairs or ask a friend to have a drink or go to your office and work. Well, fine. If you really don't want to see me, I can wait for you in your room. All right, I'll call my mom then. Come on, you're just bluffing. You won't really call her. A video call it is. Hey, hey, all right, stop. I'm leaving, okay? You're using your mom to threaten me. How old are you again? <laughs> Zhou Fang, just think about it and tell me your answer. Mm -hmm. Huh? Zhou Fang. Hmm? What are you doing here? Can't I be? It's a free country. So you're following me? No, I'm not. I wouldn't do that. So you want to help? Isn't there another way? No, this is it. It's the last day of the exhibit. We can't miss this opportunity. How do you plan on doing this? Uh, well, I do have a plan, but then I'll need your help for it. What help? Bring Ling Shi here early tomorrow evening. And tell her Lin Yen will give her the painting after they talk. Really now? Well, let me say this. Their problems won't be solved by a simple conversation. I've been thinking about their situation all night. I'm sure he'll give her the painting. What are you going to do? Come on, it's not what you think. Then what is it? Song Ling, just wait for it. <laughs> yeah. How can she be so confident? <laughs> I won't change my mind no matter how many times you come. I won't give the painting to her. I expected that response. <laughs> then why did you still come here? Hmm. The truth is, it doesn't really matter who actually owns the painting. Because the painting has no meaning, but the person in it does. When she doesn't know you're here, right? Don't act as if you know everything about us. You don't really know anything. I would say you're right. No one knows you or Ling Shi better than each other. But then sometimes, knowing another person too well creates a certain distance. What are you trying to say? Let me think. Ling Shi's favorite flowers are blue roses. Her favorite date is a romantic candlelight dinner. And her favorite thing to do was watch me paint. Don't tell me those were mere rumors. I don't think that it was just baseless gossip. A lot of your paintings feature elements of blue and candlelight. The paintings are honest, am I right? What does it matter? Those things, all of them are in the past. You know, both of you have said that it's all in the past, but neither of you have been able to let go. It's quite a nice place you've got here. If you lit some candles there and enjoyed your dinner by the light, the place would be even better. Can you stay here for one more day? What exactly do you want, Miss Cho? 
I want to help you fulfill your long-desired wish. And what makes you think that she's willing to see me, or that I am willing to see her? Because of that painting? There are a lot of netizens and visitors who go to your exhibit, and they've been talking about the painting. They even dug up your past to find out the subject's identity. You never denied a thing they said, nor tried to stop them. I don't go online. I could care less about what they say. And besides, controversy is publicity. No, don't be like that. That's not who you are. I think you're waiting for a response from Ling Shi. Well then, tomorrow I'll do my best to bring Ling Shi over here. And it will be up to you to deal with the painting and say what you want to say. Most likely, you won't be getting another chance if you don't say everything tomorrow. I won't bother you any further. I'll see you tomorrow. I came because Zhou Fang asked me to give you a message. She said that you can get the painting back. You just need to pick it up yourself. <laughs> So she found a way to persuade Lin Yun. No wonder Su Shan respects her. She's quite something. Indeed, Zhou Feng is quite the capable woman. Her designs are extraordinary as well. Su Shan has, well, let's say, he has a unique eye for talent. So a collaboration between those two would definitely give a huge boost to the development of both Wan Feng and Chen Ping. So if you're interested in buying my shares, now is a good time. Mr. Sung, you're really good with words. You gave me a sales pitch for your shares, all the while praising your girlfriend. But I'm actually surprised about one thing. Despite everything that happened, you can still speak highly of Su Shan. That wasn't what I was doing. I was just being honest. Because I know Wan Feng's potential. What time tomorrow? Seven o'clock. Your girlfriend must have put a lot of time and effort to help me get that painting. This time, I owe her one. Actually, she's also helping me. But I can tell from our talks that she really wants to help you get over your past and move on. Here's some advice. Love makes people lose their direction. And that's why we must live in the present. Am I right? Don't worry, I won't regret my choice. <sighs> Okay, that's good. Can you pull it to this side to make it more even? <laughs> okay. <sighs> Hang those lights a little higher. That's it. Does it look good? It looks great. Mm. All right. <laughs> Looking good. It looks nice. Mm -hmm. so much about other people. But when it comes to me, you're indifferent. I'm not indifferent to you, all right. I'm trying to help you while helping others. Don't tell me you're jealous over this. From what I understand, you've been at home every day with Shen Pei Pei, gathering information on Lin Yan. I felt a little neglected, like I wasn't important. I can't handle it. Oh, stop pretending. Let me tell you something. When I was looking into Lin Yun, 
I suddenly realize that they don't actually hate each other. Lin Yan and Ling Shi actually love each other. Lin Yan once said in one of his interviews that once he's able to, he's going to take his beloved out for a candlelight dinner and give her a bunch of blue roses, which she likes most. But when he was finally able to, she was no longer with him. If that's the case, then the painting must be very important to him. So then, how can you be so sure that Lin Yan will give said important painting to Ling Shi? He was using that painting as bait. He was actually hoping she would see it. And that's why he put it on exhibit. And apart from that, during my conversations with him, I could sense his true feelings, his love for Ling Shi. Clever, huh? Yeah, too clever. <laughs> I dare not lie to you again. I find it really funny. We've been fighting for so long. We've forgotten what we were fighting for. Even an outsider can understand why I put the painting on display. Why do you choose to run away from it instead? <laughs> Me run away? I never knew what was on your mind. All these years, you've never left your place in my heart. I have never forgotten the second I spent with you. No matter how controversial the painting is, I insisted it be displayed. They can analyze my painting skills all they want, but they will never have any idea how important it is to me. <laughs> With the way things are, what's the point of saying all this now? I'm not hoping for anything. I just wanted to say that all my feelings for you were true. Sadly, this fight has gone on for too long. After all this time, we're only left with one thing. And that is regret. <sighs> Thank you. <gasps> Ling Shi. The truth is, I've let go of the past a long time ago. And the man called Lin Yin has no place in my heart. I hope you and I would never have to cross paths again. You take care. <sighs> Driver, throw this painting away for me later. It's a nice painting. You don't want it? It will be such a waste. You can dispose of it any way you want. Okay. Seems your efforts have paid off. Hmm? Is that from Ling Shi? Look. <gasps> See, what did I tell you? We always have to try because we might succeed. <laughs> Chou Fang. Hmm? <laughs> Once I sell my shares in Wan Fang, mm, I can't look out for you anymore. Because I won't have the power to. Are you scared? No, I'm not. Although you are leaving Wan Feng, you'll still be by my side, right? I'll always be by your side. I'll always be there for you. Because you and I have the same goal. <laughs> and that won't change easily, right? Thank you. It's not like you to be so cheesy. Do something practical. <laughs> something practical. I'd love to. But it's a little tough right now, considering I've lost my stocks. I've lost my company. 
I'm not getting a salary and developing new technologies draining my accounts. Life will get harder. I know it. I need to cut my expenses. But I won't be stingy with you. How about this? I'll move in with you. Why do you look like that? Is it a bother? <laughs> if it is a bother, then move in with me. I'm fine with that. No, thanks. I need my personal space. What do you need it for? You have enough space during the day. Spend your nights with me. You can... always drop by on occasion. <laughs> can I bring a suitcase? No way. <laughs> Rumor has it Song Ling was licking his wounds. I didn't think he'd find a promising project so fast. He's a worthy opponent. He won't be easily defeated. It seems that he's learned. We're also working on AR. I'm glad to know this. Would you like to beat him again? Of course. All right, tell me. What's the key to securing a victory? I don't know. It's time. In terms of product, the innovations in his company are not far behind ours. The most important thing is when the product hits the market. The one who releases faster will gain the market advantage. I get it. I'll have the R&D team speed things up. Seems like in the near future, I'll be competing with Song Ling again in a different field. I look forward to it. This kind of dress will really go well with simple beaded necklaces. I designed one before. That's great. By any chance, do you still have it? I do. Can you bring it here? I'll let the customer try it on. She'll probably buy it if she likes it. If she likes my necklace, I'd give it to her for free. Is that for the red carpet? Mm -hmm. If she wears my design on the red carpet, it will help increase exposure. Right, Fang? Yes, it's free publicity. Hmm. All right, it's done now. It just has to be tried on. Hmm, great. Can I ask you something? Hmm? Song Ling wants to live with me. You should think about it very carefully before you decide anything. When a couple starts living together, they will lose all sense of personal space. It's very scary. Yeah, I agree. When Four Eyes wanted to live with me, I wonder who it was that helped him move in. Talk about enemies within. Karma really does seem to work fast. So then, the answer should be obvious. If you really wanted to live with him, you wouldn't have asked me, right? I actually have given it a lot of thought. Whenever we were alone together before, it was always about work or about Luo Luo and T's problems. We did go on a few dates, but only around the neighborhood. No matter how I try, I just can't seem to remember... a date of ours that could actually be called a date. All you two need to do is pick a time and pick a place to make it an official date. You're right, we should. The accountant said he can't keep that for you for too long. What does that mean? You found an investor for us and saved the project. That's just your reward. He said that Mr. Song authorized it. Check how much is in there and treat us. Mr. Su, what brings you here? To have a look at your work. Oh, please, have a seat. <laughs> I must say this place looks very nice. <laughs> but it's a little remote, isn't it inconvenient? Mm, just a little bit. Oh, Yo-Yo, some yes? water for Mr. Su. Sure. I chose this place because we didn't have that many employees. And at the time, we were short on cash. It was the most cost-effective option. But mm. now we've been getting more orders and... Everybody's become really busy, so no one has time to look for a new place. That's why we're still here. Ah, 
I remember we're opening an haute couture concept store soon. We're still finalizing the location. Move there when it's ready. It should be more convenient. Yes, I was thinking the same thing. So I've been looking at a few listings. Is it all right if Here. I take a look? Oh, of Thank course. You. These are the ones I've been considering. Oh. I was planning to report these to you after I checked them out. I didn't really expect you'd come here. You can review them now. These are all you're looking at? Yes. Chofeng, this will be our first concept store. You need to consider the feelings of our target market, so its location is very important. Mm. Mm? Are you trying to save money for one fun? I did take that into consideration, because I've already received so much from the company. I have all the support I need, so I'm very grateful. But I didn't want to take advantage, so I... I thought I should find an even cheaper location. So I found one that's a little bit out of the way, but it's a huge space. There will be subway access next year, so I think there will be more visitors then. All right. Let me see what I can do. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Su. No problem. Ling, I can't accept this. What do you mean? Is it too little? Come on, Ling. Please stop joking. At my current salary, I'd have to work 10 years for this. Let me make this clear to you. This money is for introducing the project to me. I was the head of the project, and then you took over. So this money is not a reward, it's more like a service fee. Ling, you're my boss, but also my friend. It was as a friend that I recommended the project to you. You even gave it to me and put me in charge. When you did, my goal became clearer. I've already benefited a lot. I can't accept the money. Yes, we're friends, but this is business. I'm the boss, I'm the investor. I invest, you work, I compensate you. It's a basic rule. You get it? Do not break the rules. Take the card and leave. You don't have a proper job now, and you haven't sold your shares. You need the money more than I. <laughs> so even you worry about me now, huh? Don't worry about me. If it's hard for you to accept the money, just take 70%. The other 30%, I'll exchange for Wan Feng's shares. How's that? Please, Ling. I really don't want to take this money from you. Oh, it's already decided. Say no more, okay? Take the card and be on your way. If you have time, spend it on the project. Now go. Thank you, Ling. Don't bother me unless you have to. Go. Please, this way. How is it? Do you like it? Oh, this place is amazing. It's really yes. big. The layout is also good. Uh huh. It's close to the finance district. Moving here will certainly help you in your career. Mm hmm. Hmm. Is this your property, Mr. Su? Yes. I liked it when I saw it, so I decided to buy it. But I haven't found a suitable tenant, so it's been vacant the whole time. <laughs> The place looks really clean. Does someone come in to clean here? My employees come in from time to time. I come every now and then if I'm free. It's so nice. Come. What was this place used as? To be honest, it was a fashion studio before. Oh. Later, for mm. some reason, it was closed. <sighs> that area is quite nice because I think within this whole floor section, it has the most privacy. You can try using it as maybe a lounge for VIP clients. It's private enough. This area in the middle gets a lot of natural light. It can be an exhibit area where you can put your work on display. Mm. And then that area over there, um, it's relatively quiet there. Just leave that area open. Mm -hmm. Use it for demonstrations on how to make clothes. That way, our customers can get a feel for it. It is auto oh. tour after all, right? Right. <laughs> hmm. All right. I'll leave this place to you. You don't have to take my advice. Just use it however you want. Thank you, Mr. Sue. You're welcome. I really appreciate don't this. Don't mention it. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Why is there a puppy here? <laughs> I like dogs. Oh. He's my pet. Oh, he's hey, so you. cute. Go outside. Come on. Go outside. <laughs> Let's have some coffee. Okay.
Be good. Hey, Swa, good to see you. What food did you bring this time, Swa? A lunchbox full of love for Chink. Soften the expression. That's it. Turn the ring towards this side. Adjust the angle. Okay, good. I didn't know you were coming. Are you off today? I'm not. I'm on break, so I brought you something. Thank you, honey. Let's go eat over there. Food's getting cold. I'll be back later. I'm just okay. gonna eat. Excuse me. Okay. Sit. All right. Mm -hmm. Dad's getting discharged. That's great news. We can pick him up from the hospital. Is this your way of saying you don't want me there? It's not that. I want you to be there. Although, to be honest with you, my dad likes you. But as for my mom, she thinks you and I aren't going to work out. I don't know how to change her mind. So this is what's been bothering you? Although my dad has gotten better, I still have to listen to both their opinions. I can't be as willful as before. Yes, you're right. But don't worry about it. Just leave it to me, Ching. Here. Eat. <laughs> what did you cook this time? All of your favorites. Mmm. <gasps> It's good. Shall I 
成海阔。